All right, tubes. Little racer is starting to work on the block there. He's, he's honing it out. Get him pumping away there. All about to dump him down. There is. In and out. All right, let me show you what I'm working on here. I don't know if I mentioned we got a little racer, a little, little dirt bike. Hey, hey, kid. There you go. Hey. Huh. I'm working on this bracket that was broken. Had the two broken ears. A little racer. Uh, a little racer had welded these little ears on there for me, and I'm gonna I'm gonna drill holes in it. This is the bracket I was I was trying to find a new one, but I figured I'll try and fix this one. It's still hot. Let me put it down. All right, so I'm gonna uh, file that flat and flush because that's got to go up against the engine block. And then uh, drill holes in it and then round the ears off and that should be good. Hopefully, uh, you know, we, we welded it and it's cast iron and stuff, so hopefully it's going to be strong enough. All right. All right, I finished that bracket up here. Looks all right. You know, I wasn't uh, looking to get crazy with it, but it uh, looks like something that's going to work. It goes up on the head here. Like I said, I'm not finished with the head yet. It just goes on here. Holds the rock arms. Meanwhile, a little racers back here. You put the cam on, the, the crank on, and the bearings, and the that's right. So you got the bearings in, and the pistons in. You can put the flywheels on next. Finish putting the linkage on the side here. And the governor, you gonna put the governor in, governor? Governor. 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 All right. You stop by, Daddy Dirt Bike. Say hey, Daddy. Hey, we're in Sunday Best Force. Yeah, look at him. Get a new pair of shoes here. I thought it was a Clydesdale when he came in the door. <laughs> All right. I'm going to help a little wrestler here and uh, a little wrestler. A little racer. <laughs> a little racer. A little wrestler. A little All right. Wrestler. And then uh, <laughs> we'll see what else we got. All right, we got the uh, Daddy Dirt Bike working on his Corvette uh, headlight here. And we got a racer working on his Alamo. What the hell is this kid doing? <laughs> oh, what man. you doing, Goofy? <laughs> He's playing shop tricks. Magic. Magic golf ball tricks. We better find him something to do. All right. <laughs> the magic screwdriver. I see that, buddy. They think that's hanging from a string. That's not. There's no strings here, buddy. <laughs> there you go, tubes. Little shop fun, huh? <laughs> we gotta find this kid some work. What are you doing that little racer? Pen. What's that for the governor? Uh, Latia. Oh, Latia. 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 Oh, yeah, look at that. It's not like a pretzel. It's a pretty rough shape. Yeah. They make a little indentation and uh, yeah. round and everything. Huh. Test so your you, skills. So you're doing all right, buddy. All right. So far, so good. All right. I'll see what the little race is doing. Is that that piece you just made? Yeah. Look at that. That's a tight machine fit there, buddy. Huh. Look good with all the, the hardware on the side there. It's amazing how tight everything is, considering how rough this engine is. Hmm. We're running in no time. 
you don't fall asleep. So now you're pretty <laughs> tired there, buddy. Huh. All right, what'd you say you want me to make it uh, the push rod there? Maybe new push rod. So that push rod's there. a little rough. Keeps getting hung up. Yeah. It's kind of rust and corroded. I think I just replaced that. All right. All right, tubes. I made a new push rod here. This other one, like I say, this is uh, this was rusted pretty bad. It must have been in the mud or the water or something. But besides being all rotted and corroded, it's a little slightly bent. So start with new, right? All ready. All right. I braised that uh, little dog here on here. I think that's going to hold up pretty good. There's, somebody must have dropped this because there's really no no tension on that that piece right there. But uh, I'm going to grind that up a little bit and paint it, you'll never even know it. The little racer made this. This is what he's working on. He's trying to... Oops. Man, oh, oh, no. Can you hear that, buddy? That's what you're talking about. Butterfly is. Butterfly. <laughs> Look at that. I bent it. See how bent and twisted that is? So we made another one. It's going to work even better. It's rebuilt. Better than nil. All right. Keep going, buddy. All right. All right. I'm going to get back to his head here. Try to clean up this mess on there. Like I say, I'm, uh, I'm just going to try to make it look a little better. I'm going to epoxy from uh, this looks like the intake, the intake hole, and I'm going to put a nice, uh, nice coat around it and try to blend it in. Come all the way around to the exhaust port here. I think you see that down there. But anyway, I got to get get on it because uh, little racer's making pretty good progress on that engine. He should have it running next week, so I'm going to uh, make. Make up some epoxy here and uh, slap it on there. It's probably going to take uh, maybe two, three coats, four coats maybe, just to get it round. I finished doing a little more painting today. Finished up some of these parts that we fixed that were uh, like a bracket. That bracket had needed welded, and so that bracket. So uh, all of them are painted now. Everything is everything is pretty much painted. I just have to uh, do the epoxy on his head and then uh, and paint that, and then uh, he can finish putting it together. All right, let me uh, throw some epoxy on here. All right, I got one one coat of epoxy on there, and already it's looking a lot better. I can see where I'm gonna have to put another coat, but uh, for the most part, it uh, it's uh, got a decent shape to it. So I'm happy with that. I'll let that cure overnight, and then uh, we'll uh, sand it up and see where our high spots and low spots are. All right. See you later. All right, I'm happy the way it came out. After uh, some rasping and filing and sanding, it came out all right. The one side doesn't even need a second coat. Maybe a little bit down here, a little tiny spot. But this was the this was the flat side, and you can see where I gotta gotta put some more uh, epoxy there. But even even right now, it would be good enough to put on here. You know, it's uh, not an eye sort of way it was. And as luck would have it, I got this bracket here, and this bracket mounts right here to these these two holes, and that would that would cover the real bad area. But uh, I'm going to give another coat right here, fill in the low spots, and I think it'll come out. I think it'll look all right. And while that's uh, hardening, I won't be able to do anything with that until uh, tomorrow. I'm going to make this uh, piece here. This holds the spark plug. You tell it's been brazed up too. This is uh, it's been broken up. And when it brazes, it's not it's not really flush or anything. So uh, I'm gonna uh, I laid it already laid it out here. I'm gonna cut it out of a piece of 3/8 flat bar here. You know all this holds the spark plug and the magneto. We're not even gonna use a magneto. We're gonna use a buzz coil on this. But uh, I laid it out. I don't know if you can see that with the glare. And then uh, cut the hole for the spark plug and uh, tap it. All right, when we get the when we get that done, we'll show you. All right, we got a second coat on here. I'm gonna let that set up overnight, and uh, then we'll sand it out. Looks like it should be it, though. Looks pretty good. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, it's the next day, and this is uh, all hard, so I can. Uh, Start shaping that, sanding that. But I had a change of plans. Instead of uh, 
cutting this and uh, making all the sparks and grinding and all that. I didn't, uh, didn't feel like doing that, so I, uh, I pinstriped the flywheels. They came out alright. So, uh, maybe we'll do this later this evening or later this afternoon. But uh, let me shape this up and finish this. Alright, I'm sanded it down and uh, I'm happy with it. You know? I mean, it is what it is. I mean, this thing was a mess. You know, I mean, if you uh, really get up close and look at it, you know, it's a little cattywampus, but uh, the average Joe ain't going to see that, so. Alright, let me uh, let me get some primer on here. I'll put some heavy primer on there and we'll paint it. Alright, looking pretty good. Let's give it a top coat. Alright, we're going to call this done. Like I say, it, it looks a whole lot better than it did. And if I do see a, a head for sale at a flea market cheap, I'll pick it up. All right, let's go inside and see what else I've been doing. I'm gonna leave this out here in the sun and uh, let it bake. All right, here's that little uh, spark plug plate I made. I didn't drill out the, the center all the way because I don't have a, a drill that big and or to tap. I'll have to wait for Mike to bring his. I think it's like a, a 13, 16, 13 or something, I don't know. But anyway. It's ready for them, so pretty much uh, got everything ready for the guys. So when they when they come over, they can just slap this together. The only thing I have to do is make a, a head gasket for it now. I'll go pick up that material. All right, we'll see. I'll probably see you next time I see you. Them guys will probably be putting this together.